So we're starting this um, series of apps by using Safari. We're going to use the morgue file. It's a good book for copyright free images. You don't need to worry about licensing or anything like that. And once I get to the morgue file, I'm searching for Raven. So I just type it into the box. Hit return. I'm looking for a flying one with some clear background. Just opened up that one by mistake. There's a good one at the bottom left. Click download image, which of course doesn't download on an iPad, but if I press and hold, I can click save image and it pops into my uh, photos. Next, I'm going to open up an application called Superimpose which allows you to combine two images, but for this I'm just actually going to try and make a, a transparent PNG file. So first I'm loading a background. It doesn't really matter what I choose here because I'm only going to export the, the foreground. Maybe a nice, uh, just plain whitish one would do. That's fine. And then I'm going to add a foreground, pick the raven, and import that. Along the bottom I'm going to go next to the transform tab just and scale the picture up a wee bit and then the masks where I can edit the mask on this image. Now I'm just using the magic wand this is a pretty easy one but uh, Superimpose has got a great sense set of tools for, for making quite nice mas masks. Back to home exporting and choosing mask PNG And that's out to my photo library now. I'm now going in to explain everything to make an animation. So I'm starting by getting rid of the, whatever I was doing the last time and creating a new project from images and looking for a nice background image. Jump into my camera roll and load the photograph. And then I'm going to pull in, add an object, and again go to my camera roll, and I'm going to pull in the, the picture there. And you can see it's got a transparent background, which is great. And in there, I can resize it just by pinching and drag it about, and then I can record moving it, and again I can change the size as I go by stretching with two fingers. I'm just having it fly away across the screen. There we go. And when I'm finished, I stop recording and hit the export at the bottom right to the camera roll. This is not the fastest thing in the world. And there it is, saved to my camera roll. The last thing I'm going to do is now bring that into iMovie where I could edit it, mix it in with some other photos or movies, and I could add audio of all sorts. So it's going to make a simple movie. Select the video track and it's at the top because it's the last one I imported. Drop it down there. See it flying across. There we go. Not the best example in the world, but uh, a nice quick simple demo I think of chaining applications together. Let's trim the end of that. And that's it. I could then, as I say, add audio, add other images, 